Okay, in today's video, I am going to go over how to calculate the amount of work done when you move a charge through a potential difference. All right, now this is pretty straightforward. All it says here is how much work does it take to move a minus five microcoulomb charge, microcoulomb charge through a potential difference of plus 50 volts. Okay, you'll, you should notice here it says minus 5 and plus 60. Remember, when you calculate electric potential, electric potential energy, electric potential difference, changes in electric potential energy, you have to use and keep your negative and positive signs. Okay, now, if you're taking AP physics, or even if you're not taking, well, if you are taking AP physics, then this equation is on your AP physics equation sheet, and this is the equation that you will use to calculate change in potential energy. Remember, the change in potential energy is also equal to, as we want to find here, work. The change in potential energy is equal to the amount of work. When you do work, you change potential energy. When you change the potential energy, you must do work. Okay, and you can see that the equation says here that the change in potential energy, or the amount of work you do, is equal to Q, the amount of charge that you're going to be moving, times the potential difference through which that charge is moved. When you calculate the change in potential energy, you're calculating the amount of work that you do or that an external force does to move that charge through that potential difference. Okay, so you can see it's just Q times delta V. This is the Q. We're going to move this charge. This small Q is the charge that you're going to move. This change in voltage, the change in potential, is the potential through which that charge is moved. So we're just going to calculate the amount of work equals the change on the amount of charge, which is minus five microcoulombs. Now you gotta change it into just coulombs, not microcoulombs, and 10 to the minus six is micro, so we have 10 minus five times 10 to the minus six coulombs, and we're gonna multiply that times plus. Now you don't have to put the plus in there necessarily, but I like to put it there for emphasis, plus 60 volts, potential difference. Now you'll remember a coulomb is a coulomb, a volt is a joule per coulomb, so when we, count, when we multiply a coulomb times a joule per coulomb, we're going to end up with joules, which is good because work, potential energy, energy and work are calculated, are measured in joules. So all we're going to do is multiply those two together and you get that the answer is the amount of work that you do, that an external force does, is minus 3 times 10 to the minus 4 joules of work. Okay. Now, maybe you're asking yourself, Self, how can we have negative work? What does negative work mean? This is what I mentioned in my previous two videos, which you can watch, which you can link to right here, okay, you, where I explain the difference of negative and positive potential energy, negative positive work, and uh, changes in potential energy for point charges. Okay, when you get negative work, when you do negative work, you're moving a charge to a place it wants to be. Okay, and this is what I mean by that. This is the charge. This is our small q minus 5 microcoulomb charge. Now we're going to move that through a potential difference. That potential difference is created by a different charge. So for example, let's just say we have a positive charge. The potential from a positive charge is positive. And if we're going to move that charge to a place it doesn't want to be, that means, excuse me, to a place that it wants to be, that means we're gonna move that charge closer together. When you move a charge to a place it wants to be, then you will get negative work or you do negative work or the change in potential energy will be negative. Just like gravitational potential energy, when you move something back down to Earth and you have it in your hand and you move it at a constant velocity, back to earth, a place it wants to be, you do negative work. Now there's another way, which we don't know which one it is, but in this case there's another way we could do negative work. Let's say we have a negative charge and that charge has a negative potential. And again, we have here our minus five microcoulomb charge that we're going to move through the potential created by this other charge. Now we said if the work is negative, it's moving to a place that it wants to be. Well, here's a negative charge and here's a negative charge. Where does this charge want to be? It wants to be farther away. So if we move it farther away, we do negative work. So 
We don't know. In each case, the work is negative, and the work would be minus 3 times 10 to the minus 4th joules, but we don't know if we have a negative charge and we're moving it closer to a positive charge, or if we have a negative charge and we're moving it farther away from a negative charge. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you could give me a thumbs up or leave me a positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.